Inktober, Chef. One piece of shade. The secret of sketching light for more impactful sketching. As you can see, we start with a light sketch of uh, the outlines. Um, I'm not a very careful sketcher. I just basically lay down the rough uh, outline uh, of the chopping board, uh, the vegetable, or what seems like vegetable, the bowl, the empty bowl, the bowl filled with uh, tomatoes or whatever lo what looks like tomatoes to me. Looks like the chef is making something vegetarian. Uh, and uh, you know all I'm trying to do is really just to lay down the line so that I can color uh, I always think of it like adult coloring book the difference being I draw the lines myself and it's a lot of fun once you have learned some basic uh, drawing skills you can pretty much draw anything um, as you can see I just roughly fill in some uh, symbols of uh, vegetable and so on right now I'm, the first thing I do when I color is really to put down the skin tone. I start with uh, cobalt blue, uh, devil in uh, the Naples yellow with queen rose mixed. Uh, that's my favorite mixture I learned from Don Andrew. Uh, somebody, I, I took a workshop with uh, Don a few years back in um, Michigan and uh, he has got some really good videos as well. Look him up on YouTube. Um, but uh, that color really is just to uh, mimic the skin tone. Right now, the next thing is I go in with uh, the shade. This is really the secret. The secret is the shade and light should be one single piece. As you can see, what I'm trying to do now is not to worry about the local color. The local color being the color of the bowl, the background or whatever it is. But I'm just trying to capture in one piece uh, the shade or the shadow, if you like, of uh, the entire uh, photo or, or sketch. This is something you can do with any of your urban sketches or with any of the photograph that you're transferring to a, a watercolor. You think in light and shade. Uh, light being where there is uh, light on the subject and shade where everything else uh, is seen as in the shadow or a part of uh, the, um, the shaded part of uh, the, the scene. Uh, as you can see, I'm using pretty much the same color mix of cobalt uh, and um, uh, queen rose. It, it makes a gorgeous uh, purple. You can see some of my other videos I talk about that. Uh, now, of course, on the lighted part or the, uh, the areas where the light falls, uh, where the chef's uh, shirt uh, or the apron you can see that I use light, uh, blue cobalt in this case and same thing as you can see that uh, I do the same uh, light very very light wash of cobalt on areas where I think there are you know uh, lights uh, on the subject uh, where I think now I'm going over the darker part of uh, the uh, the uh, the scene what I'm trying to do is I use a mixture of uh, French ultramarine with green or burnt orange as well as um, alizarin crimson to create uh, the sort of negative space. Uh, for the yellow, I use lemon yellow uh, and uh, I dropped in some of those uh, with a bit of uh, green gold. Uh, on the green vegetable, I dropped in a bit of uh, thalo green. Uh, some of the thalo green I warmed down with queen burnt orange and that really gives a uh, more uh, vegetable green sort of feel to the green rather than a very ghastly thalo green. Uh, thalo green on its own is really really ghastly so don't use it straight off the tube. Uh, mix it with uh, brown, uh, in this case queen burn orange and it really gives a bit more warm uh, to, the, to the green. The next part of uh, the sketch I am going with a darker dark well, that's the thing about watercolor. You can actually multi-layer it and um, when you do, you go from light to dark. Of course, there are other sketches that, you know, go in with uh, dark first. Uh, well, I sometimes do that, as you can see with my other sketches in other videos. But uh, in this case, I'm doing the light to dark uh, recipe uh, where I'm going darker and darker as I see fit uh, based on uh, what I see in the uh, the uh, the photo reference. 
One thing to note though is that you try not to have too many pieces of dark. You try to connect the dark as much as possible uh, so that it looks more like a uh, fewer pieces if you like, right? Uh, I'm going now to try to put in the local colors of the board with Queen Burn Orange. Uh, that is really just to uh, create uh, the sort of a feel for it. Um, I don't really bother with uh, too many details. I'm trying to create a light and shade feel. Uh, as you can see, the structure of the, the sketch is already in place with uh, the background of the one piece shade. Well, that's the secret, right? I mean, once you have done that, the rest is just embellishment. Think of it that way. Light and shade is the structure. The other things are just little embellishment. It's like cake and icing. Uh, the cake itself is, is made, but now you just gotta put icing uh, on top of it. Now, uh, as I put in darker and darker of a uh, version of the different colors, as you can see, I'm uh, putting in shadows on the, the hand, uh, the fingers, uh, and also the darker part of the, the hands uh, where it's shaded. Well, you're just trying to replicate the light and shadow, right? And remember, uh, as a uh, somebody who is just doing uh, sketching, you, you, you're not painting objects, you're painting shapes you're painting uh, lights and shadows, right? And the best way of doing lights and shadow really is to put in uh, the, uh, the sort of uh, value-based uh, sketch uh, and not don't worry too much about, you know, the little leaf or, and so on and so forth. You look at them as broad shape. As you can see, the whole shadows, uh, the way I view them, I see it as, uh, you know, broad shapes. Right, and I, when when I, when you capture the broad shapes, they will work uh, much better to your eyes. All right, uh, as you can see, the vegetable, the reds, and so on. Uh, I put in uh, you know transparent red uh, colors uh, such as uh, permanent alizarin crimson, and I dab in a little bit of cadmium, just a dash. Right, cadmiums are like gold. Uh, it's like a diamond set on gold. <laughs> Don't you overdo it. It's ghastly. Right, uh, a bit of cadmium yellow, a bit of cadmium orange, and that's basically it. So um, if you like this sort of videos and the sort of tutorials I make, uh, please feel free to subscribe. That will make me pretty happy. Uh, and if you like this video, please smash the like button. I wish you peace and I wish you a very good day wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for watching. I much appreciate your time uh, looking at this. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, like I said, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah.